talk about how this is my very first holiday video this season and I am very, very, very excited. I am all snuggled up today because I'm going to be showing you a warm and cozy look that you can wear for the holidays, whether it's for Thanksgiving, if you're going to parties, it's just well, this look that I'm wearing on my face right now. I've really been loving this look because it's just something different for me and I feel like it's really festive without being over the top. And I'm gonna be showing you my outfit and then also one of my favorite recipes right now. It's a chocolate hazelnut chai latte. So basically combining all the things that I love into one drink and it is amazing. So I'm gonna stop talking now and doing whatever this is and we're gonna get started. I hope you're ready because here we go. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing here but I'm being weird and pulling up my hair into a bun so I can use my dew puff. And this has been one of the best things I've found for my skin. You just get it wet and then it turns into a squishy little sponge and it's fun to use. I just put some warm water on it so it opens up my pores and when I dry my face I can follow up with my Glam Glow Power Mud. So this basically starts off as a deep cleansing mask that you leave on your face for about five minutes and then when you rinse it off it turns into this oil cleanser and it gets rid of buildup. It leaves your skin so soft and so smooth. I love how gentle this is on your skin too. So whatever your skin type is, you can use this and it's going to be awesome. Then I'm just coming in with my usual moisturizer from Kate Somerville. I just really like using this every single day. And I also have another favorite, my Kiehl's Eye Cream. This is super hydrating and great for this time of year. So that is pretty much it for my skincare. Now before I get into makeup, I like to light a candle because it's just really relaxing and it it makes everything smell good. So the first thing I'm gonna be using is my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This just creates a perfect base for your makeup. And I am going to be using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation today with my Beauty Blender. And I just use a tiny bit because a little goes a long way with this foundation. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer today because it's super long lasting so you're not gonna have any creases and it helps cover up any kind of darkness underneath your eyes. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder and the little mini fan brush and this is a sheer lightweight powder so it's not gonna look cakey and it just makes your skin look really nice. This powder is one of my faves so if you want to check it out I'm gonna have a link down below to ipsy.com where you can find it and some of the other stuff that I'm using in this video. I have my usual brow pencil, the Brow Wiz by Anastasia and I'm just filling in the browsy brows. Yeah! And of course, I gotta have the Benefit Gimme Brow to keep my brow hairs in place because they have been especially crazy recently, so this just keeps them all nice. And then I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is the Champagne color, which is a great base for any kind of eyeshadow that you're using, or you can use it on its own. And I have my Bobbi Brown Surf and Sand palette, and I'm gonna be using the gold color here. I am obsessed with this palette, and it's like the only thing that I've been using. And then I'm using this lighter brown color in the crease, and this just creates a little bit more definition without being too dark. It's just a nice rich brown color. And to really add dimension, I'm using this chocolatey taupe color right on the outer corners of my eyes and then just blending that out nicely. And I'm also dragging it down onto my lower lash line. And I feel like that just really warms up the entire look. Time to curl the eyelashes because this is one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. It really just opens up your eyes. And doing this first makes applying this tart eyeliner a lot easier because it's not gonna be in the way of your tight line. So I am just mixing the black and bronze colors together and I'm putting that on my tight line and my upper lash line just very thinly. And then I have my Maybelline Rocket Mascara in waterproof and I'm just coating my lashes with that. For a little color on my cheeks, I'm using NARS Dolce Vita because I think this is the perfect blush for this time of year and it just adds the right amount of color. On my lips, I'm using the Forever 21 Love & Beauty Cream Lipstick in Berry and this has a matte finish, it's really moisturizing and it's gonna stay on all day. And that, my friends, makes it a winner in my book. I'm going to be hydrating my skin with the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream Skin Protectant and you can use this pretty much anywhere on your body but my hands get super dry so this is perfect. Okay. 
Okay, it is time to make the chocolate hazelnut chai latte. So I am starting off with some vanilla almond milk and I just pour it into the cup that I'm using and then put it into a saucepan so I have the perfect amount. And then I have Trader Joe's spicy chai latte mix, a little bit of Justin's chocolate hazelnut butter, which has way less sugar in it than Nutella, by the way. And you just heat it all up over the stove and I like using a whisk to mix it together. And then when it starts to bubble, it's all done and you can just pour it in your mug and it tastes freaking delicious and you gotta check out my mug because it says filled with joy and caffeine it's like perfect for this right all right now that i'm feeling all warm and snuggly with my drink it's time to figure out what i'm gonna be wearing today so let's walk over to the closet and make some decisions over here i have some tops hmm, i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear maybe this white one, this is a super snuggly top. You can't see it, but on the inside, it's lined with this really soft fleece that I love. I have a comfy flannel scarf that I am obsessed with that I love wrapping myself in, and my hair is tucked in, but I like it that way. And then I have my Jeffrey Campbell boots on, which I got last year and I'm still obsessed with. And this is what my entire outfit looks like. I am ready to go into this snuggly world, I guess. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. So if you missed my last two videos, you can click on one of the boxes here to watch them. And make sure you check out Project Runway Threads every Thursday at 10 p.m. on Lifetime if you wanna see me and some awesome young designers. So yeah, peace out guys. I'll see you in my next Gridmas vid.